hello guys today i'm going to show you guys on how you can connect to your gcp instance vm using ssh on windows if you are looking for a video on how to connect to your gcp vm instance using your mac os do check out my previous video it should be appearing on top anytime right now in order for you to achieve this in Windows, you're going to need two software called Putty and also PuttyGen. You can download those software by going to your Google Chrome and search in Putty. Click on the very first link, click here, and you should see some options to choose over here. What we're going to need is Putty.exe and also PuttyGen.exe. Simply click on the link to download it immediately. Once downloaded, you can simply click on this Putty Gen to launch it. I'm going to minimize this window. We're going to create a key pair of the public and private key by clicking the generate button. You can move your mouse randomly. Once generated, you'll see a screen like this. This key command is actually your username. You can change this to something much better, something that you can recognize much easier. I'm going to use Technoflix as the username. Once you do this, you need to save the private key somewhere safe inside your computer. I'm going to save that. Maybe you can put a name as a private and I'm going to save that in desktop. So we have a private key over here. This private key will be used to connect to your instance later. But first of all, you need to put the public key inside your GCP account first. To do so, you need to log in to your GCP platform account. Once logged in, click on the sidebar, go to Compute Engine, and you should see your instances over here. I'm simply going to put the public key inside this instance, and we're going to try to connect to it using our private key. Simply click on the name over here and you should see a screen of these informations. Click on the edit button, scroll to the bottom and you should see you have zero SSH keys over here. So this is where we paste the public key. Click on the show and edit and you should see this screen. Go back to the PuttyGen, copy your public key and paste it inside here. Once pasted, you should see your username over here. Click on save button and you can use this SSH key to try to connect to your instance. Now we already saved the SSH key. Now I think we can start to connect to your instance using a second software that we download just now called Putty. So you can simply click on the putty.exe to launch it. I'm going to minimize these windows and close the Putty gen. We're not going to need that anymore. Okay, now you need to put your IP address over here. Go back to the GCP account, find your IP address of the instance. Copy the IP address and paste it inside here. Leave out the port number because this is the standard port number for SSH, which is 22. So I'm going to give a name over here. This is simply just for you to manage it easier. So SSH test, I'm going to save it over here. So now what you're going to need to do is you need to include your private key inside this SSH connection. So in this party.exe, click on this SSH button, click on the plus button over here, and then you find this auth options, and then you can just click on this browse and you can include your private key just now. Go to desktop, I'm going to click back the private key and I'm going to click open. Now go back to the session, and click on open. Once you click open, it's going to try to connect to your instance by right. This means it's already inside your instance. Now you can type in the username you just created with the public key just now, uh, which is Technoflix. By right, when you hit enter, it should ask for the password. But because of you already include the private key just now, it's going to get you automatically inside the instance. I'm going to hit enter right now you are inside so now you can continue to do whatever you want to do inside the instance using this ssh connection if you think this video is helpful do subscribe to me and give me a thumbs up or share with your friends it will help me to grow out this channel